So I'm going to just cover this. It has uh, lots of, and lots of flavor. And um, here's some leftover. So I'm thinking of maybe freezing this for a future kimchi if it comes out good. And um, making a paste out of this when I'm ready. Oh, sorry, I thought I paused it. And so while we wait, I just want to show you the radishes that I use. It's regular American. I did not use... It wasn't... I was able to find the round Korean radish, but they want the long one. And so radish is radish. I just use this. And that's why the color of my kimchi paste is going to be overpowered by the purple color. Okay? But it smells really good, actually, to be honest with you. I'm thinking of using... Uh, my leftover portion for kimchi paste over here, probably for cooking something else. I probably can make soup or something. It just has a very strong scent to it that seems very, very appetizing. So I could actually use it for, for soup or something, like cabbage soup, right? So well, it will be radish soup for that matter. But I, first, I'm I want to look on online to see if I find it. anything that... Uh, makes sense I'll, I'm gonna look for radish radish recipes to see if it would make sense to use it in on what plate if I do that okay so this is cooling off it's still pretty hot it's gonna be about a half hour 45 minutes the kimchi is perfect I mean the 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 kraut is really the perfect texture despite the fact that I left it in salt water for over 48 hours very, very good, actually, quite frankly. The minimum is eight hours, but I don't think in eight hours it would have been to this to to the effect of this uh, perfect uh, texture. Thank you.